Hi, this is Julie with Mountain Sweet Honey, and this is part two of honey production. What we have here is a variety of equipment that you will need when you harvest your honey. For the backyard beekeeper, an excellent tool is a five gallon bucket. You can use a cone capper or a board that is, has a nail in it. And I'll show you in a minute what that's about. You have to have something to um, uncap uh, your frames. And this is a hot knife. Works very well. I'll show you how to work that. And a lot of folks, which I have used, that works good, is a um, hot gun. Heat gun. Heat gun. Yeah, heat gun. And the second thing that many folks use, and I have used it, is a heat gun. So let's get started. Now we're ready to uncap the frames. Here's a nice looking frame that's all capped. With a hot knife, if you want to use a, a nail on a board, you can go like that. Or you can use a, cap, a comb capper on a bucket and extract that way too. I'm going to use the, the nail on the board to show you how. What you do is start at the bottom and you gently kind of saw back and forth and tip it just a little bit and you get the top of the cells off. See how we're just doing the top of it and you'll get some honey flowing from it. This way you can get some nice capping to make candles or lotion or lip balm. And that's how we do it. Hot. Why do we want the cappings? Well, I make these wax products from them. Candles, lip balm, and I sell beeswax too. Now you're just running the, the lower end of the knife where your hand is against the bottom bar right. and running the, the top of the knife against the top bar. That's right. So you have a nice mm -hmm. even comb cutting going from top yeah. to bottom. So it's all open and ready to go. Okay, and go on the other side. This way. Let's turn it like that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That honey will start running now that it's uncapped. And there are our cappings from just this one side. All right. You want to make sure you're extract, or extracting honey and capping um, on a warm day. So the honey will be a lot, flow a lot easier. And if it's a cooler day, it's a little bit It's thicker. about 87 degrees yeah. in the room here right now. Right. If you miss a spot, you just go back, carefully touch it up. back and forth and tip your knife a little bit. It might look like you're taking a lot off, but you're really not. There's a lot of the cells left. We have a capping tank, but a five gallon bucket would be real good too. So there we go. And we take it over to our electric extractor, put it into one of the slots. And we've already extracted quite a few. There's honey down there already. And that's... Okay, this is how to use a hot gun. And I have one that's a thousand power. Thousand you know, watt. Thousand watt. And it, it works well if you don't want any wax. And if you do a very minimum amount of frames. This is going to be a little where did, loud. Where did you buy this at? Bought at a, a local hardware store. Okay. Okay. You just go back and forth with it, and you'll see it melt off.
And you'll notice she's starting at the top on this so that the wax cappings will run to the bottom. If she did it this vice versa, starting at the bottom, that would just wax over again on the cappings. And you cannot hold this very long in one place, otherwise you'll burn a hole right through your cappings. But it is hot wet, so you need to be Now let's careful. look at this. You can see that it's already starting to harden up again, the wax cappings on this. For, for those that probably have 20 or more hives, this might not be the, the best uh, for using it, but it's less hand motion and a little bit more quicker. Okay, now we have some frames in the extractor and now it's time to close the lid and to begin extracting. It takes about eight minutes. This is a 20 frame extractor, electric. All right, turn it on. Tighten it up. I'm gonna show them going around. Mm -hmm. And it's spinning. Okay, we'll wait about eight minutes and come back and see what we have. Okay, let's check the one that we did the heat gun. As you can see, the heat gun kind of left a lot of the wax on and didn't get all the uncapping. Just did a pretty good job though. You just have to do it pretty quick. You can't wait around. With a lot of frames, when you do the heat gun, it does work pretty quick. I'll hold on to it, dear. Okay. That's the honey that is down there at the bottom. And we will go ahead and open up the gate and allow it to come out. As you can see, the honey is just coming out. Thank you for watching our part two of producing honey. Thank you for buying Mountain Sweet Honey.